Alrighty guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Sacred Gold and Nuzlocke. If you guys are and enjoying yourselves and this series so far, make sure you guys go ahead and show your support to that like button down below because of course it is very much appreciated. Remember that the like goal is 50 likes so we can get to that or exceed it and that would be awesome. So, last episode we went up in the lighthouse. Jasmine gave us some like something to do and we said okay, so we went to Sianwood City and we met up with some dude that like really loves Suicune and he kind of wrecked us and uh, we lost some members of the party so we had to add some people and we did a quick grinding montage meaning that I should give you guys a quick team recap so that's how we are gonna start the episode leading off we have Cherokee the naughty nature holding that King's Rock has got extra sensory air cut and tailwind and nightshade and the urban ability then we have flare the charmeleon careful nature holding that charcoal He's got a blaze ability, Dragon Rage, Fire Fang, Metal Claw, and Fire Blast. Then we have Calamari, one of the newest additions to the team. He's got Brave Nature, holding that Razor Fang. Of course, he is a he's a powerful tentacle. Liquid his ability, Bubble Beam, Wrap Barrier, and Surf. Then we have UFO Rash Nature. He's got the Iron Plate. He's got uh, Magnet Pull ability, Thunderbolt, uh, Magnet, uh, Magnet Bomb. I said Magneton, Magnet Bomb, Thunder Wave, and uh, Sonic Boom. We have head game, the rampart, I was holding that choice span. Bashful nature's got mold breaker ability, dig ancient power, take down assurance, and last but not least, we have another new addition to the team, banana, the jolly nature, the priming, razor claw ability, razor claw ability, razor claw, brick break, ice punch, fire punch, thunder punch, anger point ability, and that is basically our squad right now. We're on, we are on fleek, we are on flick a do. So, the plan, the plan for Chuck. Cherokee Nation basically Cherokee is gonna have to help us out a lot through this gym And that's just because obviously Cherokee's gonna have better typing like he's gonna have the better like the easier advantage I mean, that's not really the right word because of course it's Giuliano and he's probably got rock slide Ice punch all that stuff on this mod. It's just not gonna be a fun time at all If we let him mess around with Cherokee, so we're gonna do our best to uh, defend Cherokee I guess it, I guess that's how you want to put it so, um, Cherokee's just gonna kind of run house through a couple of these trainers in here. I want to get it up to level 35, and then maybe swap out and help, maybe have Banana or Calamari get up a level. I don't know. I'm just really scared of his, I, I'm pretty sure he has a Polyrath in this game. He has to, basically. It was his ace and heart gold. He kind of has to, you know? And, um, I'm really scared of that thing because it's, I remember it just being so bulky, so powerful, and I just do not want to have to deal with it. So, hopefully, it won't give us too much trouble. Um, I'm just hoping so we'll see we will definitely see but I'm just excited I'm excited to be taking on at Chuck because if we get this gym badge That's gonna be very nice because next episode we should be fighting Jasmine and getting a gym badge from her Hopefully then again, we could lose which would really suck, but <laughs> Hopefully 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 and then you know, of course he's just chilling under the waterfall doing some training You know what you know classic Chuck basically classic Chuck. That's classic Chuck. So Right here, we're just gonna go ahead, slap on this large winch. We will turn it. And look at that, just like that. We can take on our best friend, Chuck. I'm nervous, guys, I really am. This is the one fight I've been told to watch out for. <laughs> just as you thought it was over, like after we had to fight Whitney or something. And I think we should be good on our moves. Something I do wanna check really quickly. What item are we holding on Cherokee? The King's Rock, that's what it is. I really want to give it something that'll up its critical hit ratio. Because I feel like that's going to really be important. Uh, you have Razor Fang. It's called, it's the Razor Claw that does it. Um, is this, yeah, you got it. All right, I want to take it from you. And I can give him the King's Rock. It's just because I really want to be able to do as much damage as I can to his Pokemon as I can. Because uh, obviously, the huge, I, I feel like every single Pokemon on his team pretty much can live at least one extra sensory, so I just want to be sure. But, let's just go ahead and take on Chuck. Hoof! The pounding waterfall right onto my head. Ark! Why'd you stop the waterfall from pouring at me? You just spoiled my training. I have to warn you that I am a strong trainer. Training every day under my waterfall. What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. We shall do battle. Sorry, I was checking my driveway because I heard like a noise. And, well, if you hear a noise, it's just instinct to go check it, you know? But look at Chuck. He's doing his, uh, you know, his punches, you know, whatever. Just rolling with the punches. Primate! Primate is here. Now, substitute. I'm pretty sure this thing does have substitute. Um, one of my friends is doing something, was doing a lock of this, and I'm pretty sure I saw his primate use substitute. So I'm going to go off of that, and I think if we. 
I don't know if we can kill, but go for substitute. Show me the substitute. There you go, substitute. All right, that was nice. I'm just gonna go for another one, which is fine. I don't care if you use that. That's his hyper potion out of the way. And boom, there we go. Primeape is down. That is great. Now, Polyrath. Polyrath is definitely a different story. Polyrath is scary, scary, scary. Because it's hypnosis. Hypnosis, hypnosis. What could he have? Like, probably has Ice Punch. He probably has Ice Punch. He's got, he's definitely got hypnosis. Um, Focus Punch for sure. Focus Punch is scary. I mean, if it just goes for Focus Punch, we can just switch straight out into Calamari. I'm gonna go out to Banana. And I'm gonna try and Thunder Punch him. I'm gonna see how much this can do. How much? Maybe under a half. Show me that. Perfect. Surf. Okay, that does a lot more than I, than I, than that should. That does a lot more than it should. Holy crap. Uh, but of course, we can just come in and eat that up real quick. Now... I'm pretty sure this thing is, it's got, it gets Swift Swim, and it gets Water Absorb, and I really don't think he's going to have Swift Swim, so I'm just not going to attack him, I'm just going to kind of stall him out like this, um, yeah, I thought he would freaking do that, he would do that at some point, so he's going to get a Citrus Berry, which is fine by me, fine, totally fine by me, and, um, oh, crit me, that, I don't like that, I don't, no one likes that, no one likes a crit, nobody. Except for Primate, probably, because he's got Anger Point. If you crit him, you just, you know, he I think he gets an attack boost or something like that. I don't know. So he's probably going to go for Hypnosis, so I can just, yep, go again. Alright, this is just like the cheapest, cheapest, most dickish way to take on a Polyrath. I just really do not want to lose Zatu, especially for a fight like this, where he's pretty much the only thing that we can use. I mean, barring... You know, freaking Calamari. Calamari's putting in work, honestly. A lot more work than he should be. Hopefully he doesn't have another healing item. I, he doesn't. If he's gotten this low and he doesn't have one, and he hasn't used one, there's no way he does. So, I want to make sure I'm fully healed for when he does die. Don't die this turn. Oh, he's free from wrap. Okay, um... I'm gonna do that. And we do that. Can we kill? We didn't even kill, but we flinched it because we have the Razor Fang. Nice. All right, so... Hariyama. Okay. Hariyama. I'm going to have to Cherokee here. Cherokee is really one of the only things we have to take on this thing. Something I do want to see. It is a high critical hit ratio. Okay. Honestly, Air Cutter might be really good to go for, because we because we're holding an item that helps us crit. And we have a move that has a high crit. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. All right, Fake Out. I'm not really worried about that. That damage probably won't mess around with anything. It should be okay. How much is it going to do? Do we get a crit? Oh, we're eating that. We're eating that cross chop. That was breakfast right there. Breakfast. Mm. Oh, shh. Right, we're okay. Oh my... Like, can we please just hit? I'm gonna go for an extra sensory. I'm gonna do that. Should kill. It does more damage. Thank God. Alright, we're at level 36. Hitmon Lee. Calamari. Calamari. How did that kill? I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that that killed. Chan. I think, all right. If I heal here, I get to full. But what if he has ice punch? What if he has ice punch, you know? So I think I think I'm better off just extra censoring. Earlier in the gym, we faced one of these guys, and we one-shot it when we were only one level above. Nice. 
And we got a crit. I don't think it mattered. I it shouldn't matter. And Breloom. Flare. I can probably live a mock punch. Okay. 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 What if oh it's probably got a focus sash. God damn it. It's it's better. It's it's obviously got a focus sash. Oh, it doesn't. We won! Yes! Chuck, that is a that is a hard fight. We lost. Hell yeah, damn. Hmm, I lost. How about that? Alright, you're worthy of the storm badge. Fork it over, boy. Slide it. Slide it my way, B. Slide it. Not bad. Storm badge lets your Pokemon fly to a city or town they've already been to. Here, take this. Focus Punch, of course. That's Focus Punch. It doesn't land your if you don't, uh, it doesn't land if your foe attacks hit you first, but it's very powerful and manages to hit. But you make a great training partner. Take my number. Nice. Okay, so that is great. That is great. We just beat Chuck. What the Chuck, you know? <laughs> Alright, so that's Yanwood's gym badge, and you should take this HM. Well, thank you so much. Teach Fly to you for your Pokemon. You'll be able to use Fly instantly uh, to anywhere you have visited. Well, thank you so much. Meaning that we could fly straight back to Olivine City. And that is where we have to go right now. So we will go ahead and make our way there. And the next... Just kidding. You know, I always do that, though. I always go, like, well, we'll just make our way there. That's where we're going to go. And in the next episode... Thank you all, but don't worry, guys. We still... We're on, like, 11 or 12 minutes. What's well, up what with my audacity is on? But, of course, there's seconds I have to cut out and get in the beginning. You know, there's... Don't look at me like that. <laughs> all right. So let's just teach Fly to Zatu. And of course, um, when we get a Charizard, well, hopefully when we get a Charizard, I don't know, we might not get a Charizard. Um, we can teach it to him also, get him a flying type move for stab, and yeah. So, yeah, he actually one away from a Charizard, not bad. Uh, who am I going to switch up, though? Who do I want to help out train? Uh, how about Banana? You guys haven't, it, we haven't had Banana get any spotlight yet. Well, just, you know, partially because he's a new member of the team, so not really much. Oh, I forgot to get the secret potion. <laughs> That'd have been funny if he went all the way up there and I forgot I got it. Oh my gosh, we have to go get that, yeah. That would have been pretty funny, though, if I got all the way back, went up to the lighthouse, and I was like, yo, Jasmine, what's up? And she's like, sorry, um, go get the potion. And I'm like, god damn it. But we're here, look at how cool Primeape looks. <laughs> it looks like a walking hamster, just like this. Okay. Oh, you need medicine. Your Pokemon are going to be fine. There's something worrying you. The Lighthouse Pokemon's in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. And I love he just knows what is wrong with the Lighthouse Pokemon. Like, he just knows. Oh, this potion. I just heard noises again. This potion works for everything, especially when you're hurting. It's like taking an Advil when you're freaking, like, throwing up or something. That's what that... It's not really like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, basically, it's just... That's just... He must be, he must be an medicine expert, honestly. Because if you could just, like, hear about a sick Pokemon, and you're just like, yo... I can I can help you out, you know. It's honestly whatever. It is whatever. So we're just gonna go straight up here. Lighthouse elevator, going up to the light room. You've arrived. Hello, what's up? How is it going? What's up, Amphi? It's breathing is slight. Okay, how's it going? Will that medicine cure Amphi? No, it won't. What if, there should be an option for I don't know, because this is this man that we just walked into his house, and he's like, oh, I totally got this thing for him. Amphi not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? Pally Palu. And then he just blinds us right in front of us. Like, there's no way we can see now. There's no way. We are blind. Oh, I'm so relieved. It's just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I will return to the gym. You know what would have been really cool, though? If the city was like all dark before and now when you walk down there it's all light i don't i don't think that i don't think that's how it goes i didn't pay attention if it is but that'd be really cool it would be really cool because it just add more like detail to just add more detail and this music's in there is kind of creepy so i'm glad we have our cool oh what's up bayoba oh, hi super this is warden bayoba sorry to keep you waiting finally open this party zone do you know where it is you know the gate inside the cavern of Sienwood city if you go through there and walk for a short while you should see the safari zone we're a little out of the way but please come visit what who are you oh those are people in the black clothing super please help okay so what we can go do is take on jasmine 
or I go to the Safari Zone. And I'm leaning a little bit towards the Safari Zone because I do not know how, like, what Jasmine's level is. I would assume that it's probably 36 to 37, meaning that it's probably reasonable. But we're just gonna go ahead and take on the Safari Zone for this episode. I don't really feel like doing two gyms in one episode, and it's mostly because I don't know what I'd use for the thumbnail. No. <laughs> I didn't even know that's what Team Rocket grounds because I can't see. Pay up with your Pokemon. Yeah, because they're just random boxes for all I'm concerned, you know? So, go back. No way we're taking you on. We are switching right out to UFO. Alright, I guess we're not. I don't even think this thing gets Hypnosis. Do you actually get Hypnosis? That's actually pretty cool. Really, man? Can we just Thunderbolt you? Really? I'm doing more damage to my... Thank you! <laughs> that was seriously the most annoying fight I think I've ever done. Or the most annoying Pokemon that I've ever had to fight in my entire life right there. So, <clears throat> we're just going over a brick break here. And, um, oh, this is actually really scary. I don't like that at all. I do not like that at all. Let's go out to our boy. Just Dragon Rage him in the face. Banana's level 35. Trying to learn Swagger again? No, not again. I think he tried to learn. I think Mankey tried to learn that in the grinding montage. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember that much. But Cacturn's going to go down too. Ah, I guess it's an over, kid. I mean, I think it is over, but... That's just between you and me. And I'm actually just going to keep Charmeleon out in front because... Why not? Why, you know, why not? I would really just love for him to be a Charizard because Charmeleon's defenses... Okay, give or take, Charizard's not even that much better, honestly. It's really not that much better, but it'd just be way more practical to have a Pokemon that can at least, I can rely on to take more hits, you know? Of course, Rock's gonna do a lot, lot more, and that's gonna suck. But what can you do? What can you do? What can you do, Dicky Do? I don't know what that was. So, let's just go ahead and head up here. I guess we can't because freaking this dude, stop right there. You're foiling our plans this time. Oh, will I? Will I now? Oh, look at that! We snagged that burn too. Laron. I'm just gonna switch out. I do not like that that much. Calamari is the man. Oh, Calamari's dead! <laughs> Calamari's dead, I forgot. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think we used him other side. Okay, now this is scary because I have plus attack and I have brick break. I'm just gonna go for it. I have to pretty much because if I heal, he kills me. He, there's no way he doesn't kill me because I, I only have super potions. Thank God. Oh my. Alright, it's, it's fine though because we didn't, um, we really didn't use Calamari. We just, we, at least I noticed it before I killed the Laron. That would have been awkward, but Calamari is dead. I'm going to go drop him off in the death box. I totally forgot that. <laughs> totally forgot. That. I was just so excited that we beat the gym leader that I totally forgot Calamari lost his life. I think it was Calamari. Yeah, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it's Calamari. Wasn't it? Because, yeah, he lost, he died to the high jump kick from the Hitmonchan. Okay, yeah. It was Calamari. Our top box is filling up. God damn. I'm actually really good, glad we're doing this game because, as I've said before, I don't lose very many Pokemon in Nuzlocke. And look at me. I'm just losing Pokemon left and right. At least one in pretty much every single episode. So there you go. There you go. For all those people that really want me to start losing Pokemon, it's, it's, hap it's happening all, all the time, actually. Um, I'm not going to find a replacement just yet for Calamari because there's no need to. There's really no need to. I don't really like most of the Pokemon we have for options, so I'm just gonna just wait on it, honestly. Really, there's so many of these freaking rocket grunts just everywhere, man. The Viper. The Viper. Okay, so the Viper's dead. Cool stuff, we're level 36, and we're just switching out because we're not letting you die at level 36. That'd be stupidly stupid. This is not good at all. 
We need a water type really badly. I'm probably gonna get a surf encounter. I feel more comfortable with Cherokee. Because I don't think he's gonna have rock slide. Oh, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. And Psycho Shift, that, that moves booty. We're not doing that. Pilo Swine. Banana. Let's go, banana. Brick break. And not gonna kill, but that's not gonna do anything. Ain't nobody care. Be drill. All these girls just butter free and they stinging with no B drills. I just feel like I'm choice banded into that. No! Are you serious? Okay, you have to believe me there. Of course, I, I didn't know there was a roll. I could have. Why would that be a roll? You know, like. And then, of course, here's Charizard to like. <laughs> what even is this anymore? All right. Flare's evolving. I don't even care anymore. Guys, I cannot continue on to the chart to through this freaking thing. I'm just going to lose. So I'm just going to wrap up the episode, though. I am going to do that. So I'll just do it right here, and uh, that's going to be... Come on, I don't, I don't care. Give up on Belly Drum. Yes. All right, we're just going to wrap it up, though. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm just going to stay right here. I don't really even freaking care. But thank you all so much for checking out this episode. Drop a link if you enjoyed. Next episode, I'm going to train up team members. I, I probably will train up team members and stuff like that. We'll figure it out. But thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.